Nation. Yo, what is happening dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be episode number two of the Boosted G35 Track Day Prep. It's our first track day ever. It's going to be on August 24th. Would really appreciate to see any of you out there to come and watch or even come and race in the novice group with me. But this is episode number two. We're going to be installing another part from Speed Lab Auto Parts. Huge shout out to them. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and sponsoring this build. Uh, and thank you for providing us with this oil catch can that we are now going to be installing. Now, this is going to be pretty much the best oil catch can that you're going to want for your boosted G35. So in the past we've installed some really, really nice uh, catch cans like the ADDW1 catch can and it was really good for a non-boosted setup. For the boosted setup that we want to go for on the G35, we need as much ventilation as possible so that we can have our crankcase breathe uh, the best that it can. So we have pretty much four hoses that we're going to be hooking up. We got this one from one top of the valve cover, this one from the top of the other valve cover. Uh, one and two, we got number three is going to be over here for the PCV valve, of course, and the fourth one is going to be the uh, the outlet for the rear of the uh, bank number two valve cover because uh, there's a little ventilation back there that normally goes into an intake, but we have that deleted on our twin turbo setup. So we got all four of these hoses coming out and ventilating uh, to the atmosphere, and they're just they're just hanging out here, so we don't really have anything uh, to catch whatever like debris and stuff as you can see my hands are a little dirty here uh, to catch that stuff so we want to put this new catch can in so we can catch every every little bit of oil uh, that may be coming out and uh, it'll also look pretty nice and neat in the engine bay so that's what we're going to be doing today we have everything laid out over here on our motorcycle uh, workbench <laughs> I guess so we have the speed lab auto parts oil cooler right here once again shout out to you guys we really appreciate it you guys can find this actually this link to this oil cooler down in the description and uh, they're they're running daily deals so you guys can check it out but check this thing out it's like already polished aluminum the thing is pretty badass and you can see it already comes with two connections uh, obviously we're going to be needing four uh, and that's no problem because the way that this thing was designed you can see there is a port right here so you can remove that and add another port and then another one up here on the top. My camera's having a hard time focused, but you guys can get the idea. It's thing is pretty nice, machine welded, everything is like super secure and sealed. And uh, you even get a little nice little gauge here so you can see if, uh, if you've accumulated a lot of oil uh, over the time of you using this. You got a little cap on top and you also have a drain on the bottom. So it makes it really easy to empty out. Uh, we're going to be actually modifying this a little bit, nothing too crazy. We're just going to re be removing those two caps so we can use them and have four outlets for what we're going to be using, uh, for what we're going to be ventilating. And then we're going to be removing this cap and adding a filter so that it can still vent to the atmosphere while catching any oil uh, that comes through here. So super awesome setup and it's nice and small. We're actually going to be able to fit it right up front here and uh, not have to modify it anything too much. I might have to cut the fan shroud a little bit, which isn't too big of a deal to me. Uh, so we're going to get right on that and this way we can seat it down a little bit further. And this bracket on the back of it makes it real easy to uh, to connect right here. So I'm going to probably use that little 10 millimeter bolt right here, connect it right to the bracket and uh, things should sit nice and clean. We'll get all of our hoses connected to it. Uh, I got some extra hose over here. You can see this huge radiator hose. going to be using this actually just to cut the end off so I can so I can attach our filter that we have to the top of this. I'll be showing you guys that a little bit later on. And then we got all this excess regular hose so we can make sure we have the correct uh, length for each hose that we're going to be uh, connecting. Oh, of course, the uh, the most important part. I went to Advanced Auto Parts, had to pick up some of these uh, 1 4 uh, by 3 8 fuel line fittings. So you can actually put a, a hose on the end of it and screw it. This actually screws directly in to uh, these ports right here that are already capped off. These are actually the correct sizes that will go directly into our Speed Lab uh, catch can, and it's gonna be perfect, guys. I'm super stoked. We're finally gonna be cleaning it up a little bit here, getting the thing ready uh, to, to have some oil blow by. Hopefully we won't have too much, but, but it'll be there, you know? So we picked up two of these, and then we also have uh, this little guy just so I can make this, this hose back here that's like really wide. I'm gonna be able to shove this in there, and it'll make it a little bit smaller to connect to the uh, to this guy right here. So let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is removing these caps to these extra ports that we're gonna to need to use. And what's awesome is the, they have little O-rings at the end of the caps, they've already taken them off. But they have little O-rings that you can use uh, to fit uh, on top of your hose fitting. So we're gonna screw in our hose fittings now and we're gonna use these O-rings so that it can make a nice little seal on them. 
So we got our two little hose fittings right here. I got the O-rings in my hands. We're gonna just go ahead and fit this right over and bring it all the way down to the end of it, like about right there. And we're gonna do the same thing for this other side. So now we're gonna go ahead and screw in our new fittings right into the Speedlab oil catch can. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these down. Fuck out of here, dude. Fucking bugs. All right, so we got this one connector right here so we can actually transform this from a really thick tube to a smaller tube. Normally you wouldn't want to restrict this hose, um, but it's okay in this instance because of how many ventilation ports we actually have. It's not gonna make a huge difference here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one up here. All right. So now we can hook up a smaller hose connected to this, run it right to this catch can. We're pretty much gonna wanna hook up the catch can here. I'm gonna take off this cap and uh, we're gonna try and cut up this, uh, this radiator hose that I have to fit our filter on, because our filter's huge. But here is our filter. It's, as you can see, it's really, really big, which is good. It allows for enough uh, ventilation and whatnot. This hole is big enough for the amount of airflow that's gonna be going through it. Uh, we're gonna use that radiator hose to pretty much clamp onto here and clamp onto here uh, to kind of tighten everything up here, but it's just really tall. It won't let the hood close. So we're gonna have to cut or trim into the fan shroud a little bit so we can lower this down there a little bit and try to figure out how we're gonna mount it. All right, so this is pretty much how we're gonna do it. I just cut out a little piece of that radiator hose. We're gonna go ahead and place it right here. There we go. Nice and sealed. Now we can grab our filter and just place it right on top. Nice and sealed too. Might have to trim it, it is pretty tall right now. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and cut our shroud here. So we're gonna use a Sharpie to cut around the outline around the shroud and get that cut. Oh, okay. Okay, I may have to remove this hose holder because it's in the way a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and see what we got. I ain't liking it, babe. I don't even wanna talk. I'm just smoking my haze. I've been stuck in my ways. I've been stuck here for days. I've been staring at the clock. It's the radio play. All right, dudes, check it out. So it almost looks like it's supposed to be there with a little cutout, but we got a nice little cutout uh, of the shape of the actual catch can uh, in the fan shroud here, just so we can fit it down a little bit. And looks like it's uh, it's low enough so we can get our hood closed and, uh, and it won't hit the top of the filter here. I was able to mock it up and actually get a bracket uh, on here. You guys can see it right here, this little L bracket. So it's going into the timing cover where the old bracket for this hose holder was and then it connects right here to the bracket that's on the actual uh, oil catch can. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it up. We're gonna go ahead and connect our hoses, cut all the hoses, and we'll be good to go. I'm enslaved. Yeah. Rolling another, I'm stuck in my seat from the whole control of my speech. Yeah, I've been trying to- Alright boys, we got the one line connected. Let's move to the other side. Skinny, I cannot eat. Got a million motherfuckers that depend on me. Yeah, every friend in my family. From a girl, every fan I meet myself. I'm too on till I'm too off. Come down, to make new thoughts. Like jumping off of that rooftop. Oh my devil, what I do not to make moves based on my mood drops. Like who's lost? Like who's lost? Check out the little setup. It looks freaking awesome. I mean, super clean. Like, honestly, I did not expect it to actually come out this clean with that little cut. Like, just, just measuring around the whole box itself and doing that cut. The whole bracket. Like, I just found that bracket in my pile of, like, of this. Just a whole bunch of junk. Like, it was a perfect bracket, perfect spot. And I'm super happy with it. It's, like, tucked down. I can actually close the hood and it will be totally fine. And yeah, we got all four connections to it. We got a PCB valve here. We got the bank one valve cover here. We got the bank two valve cover here, uh, going to the bottom down there. And we have the uh, the bank two valve cover in the rear, coming up front and coming right to here. So things looking pretty awesome. Everything is nice and sealed on it. I'm super happy with it. Huge shout out to Speedlab Auto Parts. Thank you guys so much for sending this out. I uh, just wanted this to be a nice little quick video, super easy install. If you guys want to pick up something like this for your boosted builds, head over to speedlabautoparts.com. You got a 15% discount down in the description. Got a link to this in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again. Smash that like button. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, show some love, and let me know what you guys think about this little setup that we got here. You guys think it looks pretty clean? You guys think it looks pretty wonky? Let me know. I can't wait to show you guys the next video. We're getting the bash bar fabricated for the car. Stay tuned for that. 
And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Look forward for that. We're going to be painting it. We're going to be mocking it up, fabricating, welding, all that awesome stuff uh, with JF Custom Metals. So look forward to that in the next one. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.